welcome back to a brand new video. Today is another big one. It's the Africa Cup of Nations predictions right here on the channel live. This is going to be a big one. We got a lot of big countries, but if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button for a better person who wants to subscribe. It shows you care for others. All right, we're going to get right into this one, hopping right into it just about now. First group, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau. I'm going to be rooting for Guinea-Bissau in this group, but Equatorial Guinea, Nigeria, and Ivory Coast will probably all be above them. Well, maybe not all be above them, but Ivory Coast have some really good players. Bayi, Zaha, um, this Fafara, just talent all over the place. So, and Fafara, I've been sick of Fafara and Al Nasser. Uh, I think he's the, probably the best Fafara out of all. Alright, then we um, are going through this one right here. Nigeria, second place. Uh, Nigeria is a good team. They can score goals, but they really just have strikers there. That's all they have. Boniface, Oshiman, Dennis. Uh, there's more and more players. They're, just, they're all strikers, though, so it's going to be hard to determine right here. About uh, Oweli, Awanyi, he's also a very good striker, plays for Nottingham Forest, but it's just, it's tough to call with all the players being strikers, really. Equatorial Guinea, I'm not sure about any of their players. Um, I don't know one of them, but I know, so, but they usually play pretty solid as a team, and I'm going to say that they will probably still finish in the bottom two, probably not get out of this group. But still, they are a pretty solid team. And I remember the last AFCONs, they did upset Algeria. Favorites for many, Algeria. And push Algeria to a bottom place finish in the Africa Cup of Nations in their group. With only one point for three matches. So Equatorial Guinea, we have to give them some props there. Our, our last team to measure in this group is Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau, very good team, a very strong outfit, and they can play well. I know one of the players in place for think, Troy in France, or Troy, yeah, they must be Troy, or Troy. I'm not one of those, he's not really the best French speaker, but his name is Mama Balde. Alright, so this group, I'm going to give my predictions. Equatorial Guinea, fourth. Guinea-Bissau, third. Nigeria, second. Ivory Coast, the host, will top the group. Cote d'Ivoire, going all the way, possibly, in this tournament. They are the host, we have to remember. Alright, our next group there, we have Egypt, Ghana, Cabo Verde, and Mozambique. These teams have put up a pretty good fight, but it's pretty obvious, pretty straightforward group to predict. I'm just going to predict it right as it is. Mozambique fourth, Cabo Verde third, Ghana second, and Egypt first. Egypt have been smashing it at all levels. Salah, Eleni, Marmouche, Mohammed, all playing so good. It's just this team is going to be so hard to. They have played on Liverpool and Arsenal. This is so good. Eleni at Arsenal. Salah on Liverpool. It's just, there's no way you can really stop this team. This Egypt team is so good. That's why they were finalists two years ago in Cameroon. This Egypt team is very good. Ghana also a good outfit, but they are prone to upsets against a certain Comoros. Yes, but Comoros is not in the group. If they face Comoros in the round of 16, I'm going to back Comoros. But they're not here right now. So, yeah. I'm going to say Ghana will finish second, Cabo Verde, strong Islander nation. I'm going to say that they will get third, and Mozambique and fourth. What are your thoughts? So let me know. All right, then we move on to our next group, where we have Cameroon, Guinea, Gambia, and Senegal. This group should be easy to predict. Uh, the Nicholas Jackson Derby, huh? Because Senegal is so bored to Parents from the Gambia, but Senegal is his country. And then Guinea, they've got some good players. Keita and Werner Bremen, uh, Guarassi and VFB Stuttgart, I believe. I believe so. And yeah, so Cameroon, obviously, Abubakar, Onana, probably the most well known names. Toko Akambi, who plays for ABBA in the Saudi League. Uh, 
Abu Bakar Abu Shiktas and Super League, Super League, uh, not exactly a Turkish speaker either. Um, and Senegal, I'm not even gonna name one of their players because you probably know them all. Mane, just the names go on forever. Sar, just like you can name so many of them. I'm, I'm just blanking for some reasons. You probably figured out by now. All right, and this, this player, the team is stacked. I'm going to go Gambia fourth, Guinea third, Cameroon second, Senegal first, right as the group is right now. I think this group is pretty easy to predict, but what do you know? Let me know in the comment section. That probably disabled because they hate me. All right, then our next group, Group D, we have Angola. Mauritania, Algeria, and Burkina Faso. This is hard to predict. Uh, Mauritania have been playing well. Algeria have been playing well. Burkina Faso well. And Angola well. You guessed it. Yeah. So I think this one is very hard to predict right here. I'm going to say that... <sighs> Mauritania always had a bad luck to finish bottom here. Algeria were bottom last time. Burkina Faso are probably the most comfortable second place team in the tournament. And Angola are the wild card, right? So, this one being so hard to predict, I don't want to leave it as it is, but I'm going to say Burkina Faso, and I got a good excuse for why they're finishing bottom. Their best player, in my opinion, in many people's opinion, Bertrand Traore, who plays for Aston Villa, who, yes, got a one nothing win against Man City into the Premier League on December 6th, which is t today, the day of recording. Um, he hasn't been getting playing time. So, yeah, I think Burkina Faso fourth, Mauritania third, Angola second, Algeria easy first. Algeria with other players, Mares, Slimani, and just everybody, you know, there's one other guy, what's his name, Bunesia, Baghdad Bunesia, also a very good player. And I think that they'll just watch this group. It should be light work for the Algerians. We move on to our next group, then Group E, where we have Tunisia, Mali, Namibia, and South Africa. And this one, I'm going to say Namibia had to be bottom for me. They, plus, they, it's not going to be easy. They played the best team in this group. Tunisia, and if maybe go no, Mali could pull a shocker, as you don't know, but their under seventeen team made the semifinals of the under seventeen World Cup last week. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting right there. So they call up some players; they could do very well. But I don't know. Can under seventeen players perform at a senior level? Let me know. All right. Then, I'm still going to say Namibia 4th, South Africa 3rd, Mali 2nd, Tunisia 1st. Hannibal has been playing, when he plays, pretty well for Man United. Other good players out there, Wabi Khazri, who plays in League 1 for Montpellier. Yes, not the one in my state, but Montpellier. Alright, then that's my prediction for Group A. Let's move on to our final group. Now, this group, the top two are the easiest to predict. We all know who the top two are going to be. Zambia, T Tanzania, I'm not sure. But Morocco and DR Congo, I'm not sure what's going on there either. But I will say that, actually, I do know what's going on there. Morocco first, easy. DR Congo second. Tanzania third. Zambia fourth. So that's my prediction for that group. And there we are. We are done now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. I'll catch you next time for another video. See ya.